Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck you guys doing today? Listen, man, I used to be the biggest Primarina hater of all time. I always thought there were better fairy type Pokemon like Hatterene, Enamorous, and even Tinkaton. But today, my opinion has completely shifted with this Primarina moveset we use in today's video. The only question is, will it be enough for Primarina to be the best fairy type Pokemon in existence? Here's going to be the team that we use in today's video and as always, there's going to be a rental code at the end of the video so stick around for that don't forget to drop a like on today's video let's see if we can get this video to 50 likes be sure to subscribe for more pokemon content from myself listen man we're almost to 5,000 subscribers and i promise you won't regret it and last but not least let me know your guys answers for the question of the day in the comment section below or a pokemon you want to see us use but with all that being said thank you so much for watching today's video and let's jump into these team previews all right as you guys can see on your screen today we're gonna be taking on matthew and matthew has a super cool ou mix team Today they have Hisuian Samurott, Gothitelle, Sceptile, Chandelure, Hisuian Zoroark, and the Serena. Not gonna lie, pretty cool core. They do have two grass types, but unfortunately they do have a, uh, they do have the, what's it called? The Flash Fire on Chandelure, possibly. The only thing is here is Primarina it looks like it has a really good time, but this is going to be our Blaziken team that we did build. And uh, if you guys do want to use a team, there'll be a red code at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But leads for us, right? I have Tor Timer, who could be a nice stealth rocker, and that would be nice because uh, not a lot of Pokemon on this team want to take a Lava Plume, except for the Chandelier. But if they do go Chandelier, we can obviously swap right into Mindy who is going to be our Prime Arena. And then obviously we could really start setting up from there because we can Draining Kiss everything. We, you know what? Actually, Mindy might be the play. Mindy might be the play. But let's lead off with Torkoal here. Hopefully Torkoal can do some damage. If we can knock out the Serena fast, I think Prime Arena has a good time. But you know what? I'm going to lock off with leading with Tor Timer, the Torkoal. But without further ado, let's go and jump into the Wi-Fi battle against Matthew. Okay, so Matthew's going to lead off with the Hisuian Samurott. That was definitely predicted for Sherzies. Now, my only beef is, is he gonna go for the Ceaseless Edge? I mean, Ceaseless Edge or Aqua Cutter? That's what I, or is it Razor Shell? I think it's Aqua Cutter. I'm pretty sure it's Aqua Cutter. But I could get a Stealth Rock off really fast, like really fast. But my other point is, is I kind of want to go for a, a Will-O-Wisp. Because if I can burn this thing, at least it's not going to hit as hard. And what's good about that is with it not hitting hard, my my other threats can get in fast. My only beef, well, I always say that a lot. My, my beef is, is a lot of things. But uh, the best part about it is besides the Serena, they don't have any hazard clear. But also this could be a Hisuian Zoroark as well. Uh, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp on the off chance it is. It is going to Swords Dance. We need to land this. That's for sure, brother. We need to land this Willow. That's 100. I swear I miss Willow 100% of the time. I go for it. I swear that's the thing. I swear it's a thing. I'm going to do it again because obviously I would love to cut this thing's attack in literal half. I would love that. Uh, that's just terrifying. And also, I still don't know if this is a, a, a Historian Zorak or not. So uh, hopefully it's not because that would be nice. But the good thing is the sun is out. I'm defensive with Tor Timer here. We should be able to take even an Aqua Cutter in the sun. Okay, so they're gonna go for another Swords Dance. That is absolutely terrifying. If I miss this Willow here, okay, we don't miss the Willow. So that's at least good. So we're gonna cut this thing's attack stat in half, which is great because now it's not gonna be able to hit us as hard. Uh, so that's fantastic. And if it was Focus Sash, it's not going to be Focus Sash any longer. Uh, but I would like to get a Stealth Rock up here just in case. Uh, they possibly could go for another Swords Dance. That would be really scary. Uh, but the good thing is we do have Dragapult in the back. Who Dragapult A should be able to outspeed, which is nice. Because obviously we know it's not going to be Scarf. Because obviously it's going for Swords Dance. But if we can get in at least Dragapult... We should be A-OK. -okay. This is going to be edited out for you guys, but this guy is literally taking forever to make a play. I don't know if he's calking or whatever, but brother, this guy's... Oof. So he's going to go for another Swords Dance. That's absolutely terrifying. That is, like, literally terrifying. Uh, my only thing is, I don't know... Is he just stalling the sun? Is he stalling the sun? Uh, that's what I'm terrified of. Um... My only thing is, is do I need... 
do I need Torkoal? That's my that's my other thing is do I need Torkoal? Hmm. I mean, I could Lava Plume here. I could definitely Lava Plume here. Uh, the only thing is a Ceaseless Edge is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, so you know what? <sighs> Let's go for a Lava Plume here. I don't... Ah, man. I don't know what he's going to go for, to be honest. All I know is he's taking, like, at least three minutes of this battle. Just picking a move from, the, like, turn three. But they are going to go for the Aqua Cutter here. Aqua Cutter not going to take us out, which is super nice. We get the Lava Plume off. That's going to be a little bit of chip damage. At least enough for a Draco Meteor to take this thing out. So that's going to be fantastic. Torkoal did his thing here. Torkoal absolutely did his thing here. And the good thing is if we can take out uh, this Samurott, we are A-OK. -okay. But uh, you know what? I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin here on the off chance... Maybe he goes into something else to take the Lava Plume, but they are going to go for the Aqua Cutter that is going to take out Torkoal. That is absolutely fine, because now we can at least go into Dragapult and go for a safe, very... Actually, I could go to Vile Plume here. I... You know, I'm actually going to go into Vile Plume. I'm going to go into Vile Plume here. And again, the reason why Vile Plume is going to be safe here is just because, A, the sun's out. I have Chlorophyll. Why not go for a Solar Beam? Actually, yeah, why not go for a Solar Beam? Why not go for a Solar Beam? It's in the sun. Why not? And the good thing is here, if he switches out, then he's going to be useless. But we do get the Solar Beam off here. Perfect. That's going to be a dead Samurott. We have saved the day. I don't know... If it was worth really setting up all these, I don't know if it was really worth setting up all this, all this shenanigans that he had going. Uh, but you know what? In the process, we only lose Torkoal. Via Plume got a kill on a Hisuian Samurai. It's it's really just it's all good. It's all good in this hood. Ooh. Okay. So they're gonna go into Gothitelle. That's actually insane. Uh, how many turns of Sun are there still? Um. Hmm. I'll tell you what though. If this thing starts setting up Calm Minds, that's going to be a little insane. But you know what? How many turns of Sun are there still? There's two turns of Sun. So you know what? Let's go for a Growth here. If they go for Psychic, that's honestly going to be okay. Because then we just obviously go down. And we can easily bring in our, um, our what's it called? Our Primarina. So they are going to go for that Psychic. That sh probably should take us out. No, we actually, we live. We actually live. That is absolutely fantastic. Because now we can get a huge... Very big solar beam off on this thing and do a lot of damage. Do a good chunk of damage. Uh, it is going to have leftover, so that's good to see. So you know what? Let's hit that solar beam, baby. Let's go for solar beam. Oh, and that's going to be a plus two solar beam as well. That's going to be a plus two solar beam. Vile plume and Torkoal, literally peanut butter and jelly. I'm talking that combo. And on top of that, right, they're going to take down the, they're going to take down Vile plume absolutely fine with me do you want to know why that's fine do you want to know why that's fine ladies and gentlemen let me go ahead and tell you why that's fine i'm gonna to go to pokemonshowdown.com because i have primarina who a the sun is gone now so i can easily go for a liquid voice hyper voice and be completely fine be completely fine and the best part is i still have my terra here so i can just terra fairy and then go straight up for draining kiss on whatever i want I'm honestly thinking about Calm Mining here. I, th I think I'm going to Terra Fairy and Calm Mind. Hmm. Actually, hold on. I got to see the speed tiers real quick. Because I don't know if this is going to be a fast Gothitelle. I don't even know how fast Gothitelle is. Gothitelle has a base 50, 65 speed. Primarina has a base 60 speed. So it's going to for sure outspeed us. Uh, but that's honestly fine because I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice here. Going to go for that Hyper Voice. They're going to Future Sight. That's A-OK -okay with me because I can hopefully cut up, or set up some Calm Minds in the foreseeable future. So, got the tell going down. Primarina looking good. Okay. Wait a minute. Now, this obviously gives them a chance to go into the Serena because Serena is obviously going to be their spinner. Like, we already know that by far. But the good thing is we are going to get a special attack raise, which means... If we know that they're going to rapid spin, we can either substitute or we could go Calm Mind. Also, do I want to tear a fairy? Here's the question. So, Epitaph is going to come. I don't know what that is. That's actually going to be a Sceptile. That's actually a Sceptile. Okay. So, this is my play to go Terra Fairy and Calm Mind. Because it could be a special Sceptile. Unfortunately, if it is going to be Leaf Blade, that's going to be kind of an issue. But I'm I'm confident maybe it's going to be special. Also, I don't know if it's going to be unburdened as well. 
Uh, because it could Swords Dance as well. Uh, we're gonna get- oh, we're actually out- Do we out- We out sped. Um... Hello? Roar! Great play on my opponent's part. That was a great play. I was wondering, I was like, why did we outspeed? But that makes sense. What Pokemon do we go into? Dragapult. That's amazing. I love a Dragapult. I absolutely love a Dragapult. I love a Dragapult. Do you want to know why I love a Dragapult play? Do you want to know why I love a Dragapult play? Because I can easily go for U-turns. I can easily go for U-turns. And it's going to do a lot of damage. Now, the question is, is what did they go it? What did they go for? Uh, you know what? Scizor is a good play here. Scizor is a good play. Uh, because obviously I don't think they're gonna be Terra Fairy. But I do Shed Tail. Well, buddy, you don't have enough HP for that. Yeah, you have to have a certain amount of HP to get that off. They are gonna go. Ooh, we got hit by the by the future sight. That did a little bit of damagey damage. Alright, well that's perfect. Well, I'm gonna go for the U-turn here. Uh just in case they swap out. Because then hopefully we can get Primarina back in, start setting up some Call Mines, some Draining Kisses. Now, obviously, we unfortunately did use our Throat Spray, but uh, essentially, that's not the worst case scenario. They are going to go for that Giga Drain here. That is absolutely fine with me. And now, they're going to be forced to go into Serena. They're going to be forced to go into Serena, uh, but they have two things. They can either pick to go for a, like, like a Power Whip or something, or... Or something of that sort on Primarina. We shouldn't die with Primarina, even though Primarina has literal paper health. Like, Primarina ain't the bulkiest uh, Pokemon defensively. But you know what? It's still good enough to where I think we can live a hit and then easily get a Draining Kiss off. So, Primarina gonna come back in for Freezies. Hopefully, hopefully we can do something with Primarina. I really hope so. Okay, so there's gonna be the Serena. That's gonna be the Serena here. Uh, now, the question is, are they gonna go... I kind I want to honestly just go for the Draining Kiss. I'm gonna go for the draining kiss, see how much health I can get back, and see if I can outweigh the like the benefits. But they are gonna go for that power whip. We do live, which is nice. Uh, question is, how much is this gonna do? Eh, it did a it did a decent amount. Uh, my only question is here is, what do they go? Do they go for another power whip? Do they go for another power whip? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to switch into Blaziken. I'm gonna switch into Blaziken just in case they go for like a triple axle or something that's 100% accurate. Because again, I really do feel like Primarina can wall the, um, the Chandelure. So they are gonna Power Whip again. They do land it, so good thing we did switch. Uh, but the best part about this here is we are going to live. Uh, we unfortunately don't get a speed boost, but that's fine because I think Blaziken outspeeds Serena anyways. Uh, and now, let's go for a close combat on the switch into the chandelier. Nope, they're gonna stay in. Absolutely perfect with me. They're obviously, you know, blazing and takes out. And the good thing is, chandelier can just come in straight up for free. Chandelier actually can, can really, can, can, well, sorry, not chandelier come in and do stuff for free, but, um, can at least come in and do some damage. So, I might sack off Scizor. I might sack off Scizor. And the reason why is... I want to bait them into Flamethrower if they're going to be Scarfed. That's my thing, is I want to bait them into being Scarfed. Uh, and also, I mean, I have Earthquake for this thing, but what two Pokemon do they have last? So they still have the Chandelier and the Hisuian Zoroark. So actually, this could be Hisuian Zoroark. Uh, either way, I'm not taking this thing on. So, let's bait. Let's bait... Duke Nukem. Let's bait Duke, Nuke, Duke Nukem. Uh, because A, I'm not outspeeding both of them, which honestly is a thing. Uh, but I'm not, since I'm not outspeeding them, I can easily tell which is which. So this is going to be foul play. So that's going to be a Primarina if I, or sorry, that's going to be a Hisuian Zoroark if I've ever seen it, which is nice because now we can go into, uh, we can go into Mindy here and Mindy can get off a huge liquid voice. Uh, or I could go. Or I could go Calm Mind. Um, hmm. This one's actually kind of tough. This one's kind of tough, actually. Uh, I'm going to go High... No, I'm going to go... Hmm. I'm going to go Draining Kiss. They do have Knock Off. Well, that didn't do anything. And we have no items, so that's going to be good. We're going to get the health back from the Hisuian Zoroark here. And that's going to do a decent amount of damage! Okay! Wait a minute, and now, 
I can go for Calm Mind. I can go for Calm Mind. I'm gonna do it. Yes, sir, I'm gonna Calm Mind. Yes, sir, I'm gonna Calm Mind. Primarina. You dirty dog. You dirty dog, Primarina. So they are gonna Shadow Sneak here. Oh, look at you, you dirty. Look at you, you dirty. My question is here, if they're gonna go for Shadow Sneak, if they go for Shadow Sneak, does that break the sub? If Does that break the sub? I'm gonna call mine again. I'm gonna call mine, and the reason why is because I know this thing has nothing to take us out unless they have like Poltergeist or something in the back, which they do with Foul Play. And Foul Play is doing literal nothing to us. Primarina! Oh yes! Uh, yes, Primarina! Let's go! So now I can easily get a big draining kiss off on this thing. Special defense is up, which means um, this thing has nothing to touch us with the um, chandelier. So I'm gonna go for the draining kiss, get some health back. Brother, the U-turn. The U-turn comes out finally. The U-turn coming out finally, okay. My only thing is, is I'm terrified overheat takes us out. That's my honest thing is, doesn't overheat take us out, but hopefully this channel or hopefully this dazzling gleam does enough to where we can get a lot of health back. Come on, please, dazzling gleam, please. Or sorry, not dazzling gleam, draining kiss. Sorry, I did not mean to offend you. That's doing so much damage. Pre Marina is a goat. Pre Marina is a goat. And I don't think of yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go for that hyper voicey. They go for the flamethrower. That's perfect. That's gonna literally do nothing to Pre Marina. Perfect! Hyper Voice coming through! Let's go, baby! Alright, so last Pokemon is gonna be the Hisuian Zoroark. Mindy, I'm so proud of you. I was thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna find a Wi-Fi battle that, like, she's gonna do good in. I'll be honest. This moveset, kinda, it's a little different. You have to get it to work in the right situations. Today's Wi-Fi battle was the right situation, brother. Let's go ahead and end this thing with the Draining Kiss. Call it a day. Let's go, Mindy. I'm so proud. Primarina got herself a thumbnail spot. You can't ask for anything better. Literally took out three Pokemon on their team. They're going to go for Shadow Sneak. That's literally going to do nothing to us unless they get a massive crit. 69 HP. Giggity. You love it. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I absolutely love it. Primarina kind of goes crazy. And the best part is I didn't even have to use my throat spray. I didn't have to use, like, I didn't really have to use anything. I really didn't have to use anything. But that's going to be GG's to Matthew. That was a super good game. Primarina coming in clutch. But, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, you really couldn't ask for anything better. But next week, we do have a Rhyperior team coming out. It's or Sorry, next not next week, but it's going to be tomorrow. Come check it out. Uh, we got a pretty cool set on this Rhyperior team. But if you guys do want to use the Pre-Marina team we built, rental code will be right here. <laughs> rental code will be right here. Here is going to be the rental code for the team we used in today's Wi-Fi battle. The Poke Pace will be in the description as well. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon battles. And let me know in the comments of some Pokemon you want to see us build a team around. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start working on the next set of Wi-Fi battles. So please give yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.